In this video, I am going to show you how you can use Bolt.new for free without paying a single penny. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's make sure you have everything you need. You'll need two things, Node.js and Git. If you don't have them installed yet, don't worry. I will provide a direct download links to download and install them. Just pause this video and go grab them. All right, once you've got those installed, let's clone the repository. Open up your command prompt. Type git clone and copy the URL of this GitHub repo. Just like that. Now you're officially part of the club. Membership comes with no benefits, but a lot of coding fun. Next type cd space bolt dot new, any l l m. Now we are in the bolt.new LLM folder. Here we need to rename environment variables from example to local. Just type the command move.env.example space.env.local. Next up, we need to install our dependencies using pnpm. If this command throws an error saying pnpm is not recognized, don't panic, we'll fix that. This error message indicates that Windows cannot find the pnpm command in your system's path. Let's resolve this. Open the command prompt in another window and type npm install dash g pn pm. You now have installed PNPM globally using NPM. Now get back to previous command prompt window and type PNPM install to install all necessary dependencies. With everything set up, let's start our development server. Type PNPM run dev command and watch the magic unfold. If everything goes well, you should see a message that says server running at localhost port 5173. Add your API keys here. I usually use Gemini API because it's free. Remember, these API keys are like your Netflix password, so keep them secret. And there you have it. You've successfully set up Bolt on Windows for free. Give yourself a pat on the back or a cookie if you have one nearby. For more tips on using AI effectively, check out my video on how to use Perplexity AI for research. See you there.